Heart lock leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Hello, my name is Sam. Welcome to my studio. Today, we're going to be talking about taking on the beast that is art block. If you find any of these tips helpful, make sure you hit the big like button and hit the subscribe button down below. Comment your favorite tip in this video and let's go ahead and get right into it. Tip number one, take a break. Do something else and take care of yourself. I'm going to go ahead and deal with this tip in uh, two different parts. The first one being to do something else. Oftentimes we get so caught up in doing art because practice every day, practice makes perfect, that even when we're hating everything we're doing and we're not having fun with it, we keep doing art because well practice makes perfect. And so we keep going to the point that it just drives our brains insane and we can't do it anymore but we keep trying to push through just stop just take a break go hang out with your friends read a book watch a tv show or honestly even pick up a secondary hobby it can still be creative in nature but especially if you're doing visual design try to steer away from anything else in that area maybe pick up a secondary artistic hobby or it can be a non-artistic hobby, collect stamps. Do something else. Do something that you enjoy, that you have fun with, but just take a little bit of time. The second part of this tip is to take care of your health. Make sure you're sleeping properly. Make sure that you've got proper eating habits. Exercise once or twice a week. Exercise gives you more energy. It'll make you feel better. Even if you just go for a 10 to 15 minute jog twice a week, I guarantee you it'll do you worlds of good it'll make you feel better give you more energy and when you come back to do art you'll be more refreshed than ever having done these previous steps tip number two work on improving your environment as artists and really just anyone but we're specifically talking about art here the space we work in matters so so much look around me I've got awesome blue lights around, I've got awesome posters all around me. Whenever I come in here to draw, I get so hyped seeing characters from all these different awesome things. All these different things get me hyped to draw. So seriously, let's work on our environment. Now, you don't necessarily have to go all out like I've gone, but just to start, make your environment clean make your workstation clean if you have a dedicated art station you work at make sure it's clean and if you don't and you're just doing work say at like your breakfast room table or out in the living room before you sit down to draw just tidy a little bit spend five ten minutes just tidying the area to make it clean and stress-free there's lots of noises see about investing in a nice pair of headphones and you can listen to music too to tune things out if none of that is possible and you don't have a place in your home that you can sit and just peacefully draw, because I, I get it, I came from a big family, do what I used to do. Go to a park, go to a cafe, go somewhere else. Again, if you're going to a park or a cafe, I still recommend bringing headphones, but I mean, it can even be like cheap earbuds. And listen to music while you draw. Really good way of keeping your motivation up, getting your inspiration going. But make sure wherever it is that you're drawing, that is a stress-free environment. If you sit down to draw and you're already stressed by your environment, you need to work on fixing that. Because that, more than almost anything, is gonna just make it a horrible ex experience from the beginning. Before I get into my third tip, I just want to remind you to like this video and subscribe if you've enjoyed it at all or found any of these tips helpful so far. With that said, let's go ahead and just get into the third tip now. Tip number three, take a class. Have you ever sat down to draw something and you understand how it should look? You understand how the anatomy should look? You understand how the lighting should be, but you just don't know how to do it? Of course you have, you're an artist. Anyone who's been drawing for any amount of time knows that feeling. To so go take a class at Skillshare, you got you to me. Those are great places. Honestly, there's even some great guys on YouTube making some phenomenal things there. But just find what the two or three things in your art that you really wish were better 
and go take a class on it. Oftentimes, art block isn't necessarily the inability to draw, but it's that there's something in our art we don't like that we want to improve. So spend some time improving it. And I know art classes are boring and lame and you just want to kill yourself when you're taking another art theory class, but trust me, it's worth it. Spend the five, 10 bucks on the class. Find some art classes that are gonna help you in these areas. Take the time to go through them. Don't skim through them, don't skip over them. Go through them doing the assignments. I guarantee you, you'll see your art improving so, so quickly. It is worth it and it is worth the money. It is worth the time. Take an art class, improve your art, and thank me later. <laughs> Tip number four, recreate an old art piece. So often we don't realize how much we've actually improved in even just a short period of time. We look back at our old artwork and we can technically see that we've improved, but it's not until we take a piece we've already drawn and we draw it again that we see just how much we improve. If you go on any social media, you can find so many artists posting about their art improvement and oftentimes you're redrawing an old piece because it is so encouraging to see just how much growth you've made in oftentimes a short period of time. Even like two to six months at a time, I will redraw an old art piece. I find an old art piece from not too long ago and I redraw it and oh my goodness, you feel so amazing just seeing how much you've improved. It is honestly so amazing. So if you're struggling to draw something, you're sitting down and you can't think of something to draw, you're struggling to make anything you feel is good, redraw an old piece. This could be just painting over it, making it look better, making the rendering better, making the anatomy better, changing up the pose, whatever. You could even do it from scratch, whichever you choose, redraw an old art piece. It is so, so encouraging to see that. And I guarantee you, if you do it, you're gonna feel so good about yourself and so happy about the improvement you've made. A little tidbit that goes along with that tip is don't throw away your old artwork or don't delete it if you have it on your computer. Save everything you create. If you keep deleting all your artwork, you never get to see that improvement. I started keeping everything I made back in 2017 and I can track from then to now all of the artwork I've made and it is friggin amazing to get to see that progress happen. Seriously, hold on to your artwork if you're doing it. On a computer, I recommend separating it out by the months and by the years to make sure you can easily find what you did when and hold on to it and then just track all of that artwork you've done. There's so many artists throwing away their artwork. It just kills me to see because then there's six months later and like, I haven't improved at all. You probably have improved. You probably have. In fact, if you're drawing regularly for six months, you're going to improve. You can't see that improvement if you don't keep any of your artwork. It is important to hold on to. Five years down the line, you'll thank me because you'll be able to look back at your old artwork and go, oh my goodness, I have improved. Tip number five, lower your expectations. Okay, bring it in, bring it in here. I'm gonna level with you guys. 99.9% .9 of artists out there way too high expectations on themselves. I find so many artists out there who hate everything they do because it's not the level they want it to be. And honestly, nothing you make will ever be exactly what you want it to be. It doesn't matter what level you get to. There's always another level you're going to be aspiring to get to. And you're never quite gonna make it there. Well, I mean, you'll make it there, but once you're there, there's somewhere else you wanna be and that goes on forever and that's okay. But if you let that discourage you, you're always gonna struggle to make artwork and you're always gonna struggle with art block. I spent so long hating everything I made because it wasn't at a level that I wanted it to be. But whenever I made it to that level, I hated my artwork again because there was a new level I wanted to be at. And that's gonna happen forever. And you'll never quite get past that. And so honestly, as horrible as this sounds, and I don't mean to sound like a bummer, lower your expectations on yourself. It's okay to not make perfect artwork. 
you can still acknowledge the issues in your artwork and the flaws and the ways to improve without beating yourself up. Your self-identity is not connected to what sort of artwork you can make. I am now probably a year to a year and a half into not having art block. It has been that long since the last time I had horrible art block. And a lot of it is just due to the fact that I came to the realization that my art was never going to be perfect and that just had to be okay. I'm always striving to improve, I'm always striving to get to the next place, but it's never gonna be perfect. And that's okay because the goal ultimately is to enjoy the process of creating artwork. If you stop enjoying the process of making artwork, you should stop being an artist. That or you should rework your, your process. But if there's no way for you to create artwork without enjoying it, just stop. It's not worth it. It's never going to be worth it if you don't enjoy it. Because it's a hobby. It's the thing you're doing as a hobby. And sure, it can be a profession. And honestly, if you're a professional out there, you probably already know everything I'm saying. And this doesn't necessarily apply to you. For most of us, art is a hobby. It's something we do for fun. So let it continue to be something you do for fun. Don't let it take control of you. I've spent way too much of my art journey hating art because of unrealistic goals and unrealistic wants in art. And most of my videos so far that I've been making have just been about loving artwork. Just loving everything in the process of it. This is my most important tip that I give to any artist who comes to me and asks me, how do I get over art block? And it's to lower your expectations. Be okay with what you're creating now. Become like you were when you were a young kid and you made these horrible, horrible drawings with crappy crayons. But you know what? You loved that artwork and it didn't matter that it wasn't the best thing in the world. You enjoyed making it and it made you happy. Become like that again. And I guarantee you, you're going to fall in love with art all over again. It's not about other people. It's not about Instagram likes. It's not about followers. It's about enjoying the process. That's really what it's about. If you guys found any of these tips helpful, please Leave a big like, hit that subscribe button to see further content from me, and let me know in the comments which of these tips was the most helpful for you. And until next time, guys, join me in the love of art. Sammy, 